the dead linger. Sort of my thoughts. Is it worth a buy? There's only one thing we can do, and that's let's read. Ooh, ooh, that guy. He was serious there, guys. He looked like a hitman. He scared me, guys. I don't want to take the piss out of him. Uh, I might end up with a horse's head in me bed when I wake up. I'd do anyway. I know that's my wife, isn't it? <laughs> uh, right, get on with it. Uh, the Deadlinger is a definitive zombie apocalypse survival horror fucking experience. Another zombie game, guys. Another fucking zombie game. Another zombie game, guys. Just get on with it. Set in a planet-sized, procedurally generated world, survivors learn to fight, run, and survive against the never-ending and relentless zombie hordes. Well, I am sick of zombie games, guys. Because, you know what? Years and years ago, when I saw my first zombie film, George Romero's Dawn of the Dead. That was it. It was a great film. We had Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Zombie Flesh Eaters, and that was it. Then everybody just says, right, that's it. We've done it. We've done zombies. Now let's move on. And the little video games that was out at the time, we didn't do zombies. You know, so there was one, I think, but... We just moved on and we went on to other stuff, you know, like uh, Halloween and Friday the 13th and all that, you know. But we just moved on. Then we did Werewolves, The Howling, American Werewolf in London. We just moved on after that. We didn't f*** about with werewolves. But no, no, no. Now we live in this time where somebody brings out a zombie game and go, ah, oh, that's good. I'm, I'm going to do that. That's, that's my zombie game. It's the same as yours, but it's a different name. Huh. Hey, he's made a zombie game. I'm going to make one too. There we go. Ah, oh, he's made a zombie game. I'm, 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 I'm one. An electronic arts. Oh, everybody's making zombie games, right? Let's buy the fuckers all out, sack the bastards, and make a thousand DL fucking C's for the cunts. And then you end up with a world where you've just got an influx of zombie, 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 zombie. And then it gets totally out of hand. Then you have like forklift truck simulator adding zombie mode. Then you have zombie DLCs to Call of Duties. Then it's every fucking game has to have a zombie mode. And then of course Hollywood say, oh fucking hell, everybody's into zombies. Oh, that's a World War Z. Yeah, that's zombie this, zombie that. I am fucking sick of the I am. Honestly, how, what's next? What's next? On Mother's Day, you can get a Mother's Day zombie card. That's not even funny. Where did that come from? We'll have zombie outbreaks next. Have we already had it, didn't we, on the news in America? That guy... Back, are you going to get on with a fucking game? Sorry, guys. Uh, the Dead Linger I picked up back in September 2013. And uh, I did a video for my other channel. And it was a bit, bit shit, guys, at the time. It was it was a bit shit. So I've left it for the worth a buy until now, six months later. So this is my first worth a buy. It's still in alpha, this game. So I, I, I ran it out this morning and... Uh, still looks shit it's just it's just too early for this game it's yes it's a zombie survival game yes it has potential yes the buildings look great the zombies look a bit shit they're all kind of look the same the 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 graphics look bad i'm not into the graphics they're gonna improve them i know but it's just kind of i don't know there's something about it that just it's not appealing to me much at the minute. It's, it plays badly. It's laggy in multiplayer. It freezes now and then. And I've got a top-end PC. It just doesn't run well. It doesn't run well enough to enjoy the game yet. Um, it has crafting. It's just been added in the latest build. Uh, it has base defences you can put in. You can board up windows in your house. Move stuff in front of doors. Um, it's very scary. It's quite atmospheric. It scared the shit out of me. Um, it is a tense game. The world is massive, guys. It's fucking vast, the, the world you play. An all-open world it is as well. Um, but, you know, after playing Rust... After playing Seven Days to Die, you just don't want to play this. You want to go and play Seven Days to Die or Rust again because them two games, as much as they're still in Alpha as well, they are in a much more advanced state than the Dead Linger. The Dead Linger is not advanced enough to throw money at to expect to play a game. I mean, by all means, throw money at it if you want to help the developers to make this into the game that it potentially could become. But if you're thinking of throwing money into this now to actually play it and have fun in it then you need to think again because i i personally don't think it's advanced enough and bug free enough for that to happen you're just going to get frustrated and pissed off at what it could have been or or will be in the future um, that's not to say that this game is bad it's not it has 
like I said, massive potential, as do a lot of alphas. Whether they will fulfill that potential is another ball game altogether, but I'd like to think they would because the developers seem really good people on this, that they're putting a lot of man hours into this, and I can see what they're trying to do with this, and if they pull it off, then this could actually turn out to be the best zombie survival game on the market, because it has the potential to be that. Um, at the moment, though, it's very, very rusty, very, very early. Did I like the way I threw rusty in there? Uh, yeah, because it has copied a bit off rust. But that's fine, I don't mind them copying off each other as long as they do a better job than the last one and add new shit in. That's fine. Everybody copies off shit. You know, that's that's just fine. I've got nothing against that. So, the Deadlinger, yes, it's a zombie survival game. It has crafting. It has the buildings that you can go in. It's a massive, massive world. Pretty bare at the minute. All trees and grass, to be fair, with some buildings just kind of throwing in the middle of nowhere that look totally out of place. Uh, but I'm not going to chew the heads off yet because this is early access alpha. Um, but I'll be back in six months to have a look at this, see if it's worth throwing money in. At the minute, I'm not going to say it's worth a buy. I'm not going to say it's not worth a buy. It's going to get the middle of the road. There you go. See you later.